wondered how at the farmer's market they managed to infuse their olive oil so beautifully. I'm going to show you today. So, of course, you always got to start with a very good quality, extra virgin olive oil, cold pressed as well, meaning that no heat has gone on to that lovely, lovely olive. So what I'm going to do is I've just got this lovely, strong one here, which means it's got a bit more of a peppery taste. So I'm just going to fill all of these ones up. So my first ones, I've just got a little bit of garlic. So this is beautiful summery garlic. So it's got that extra lovely taste. So I want to capture this and capture it within my olive oil so it can be there for a few seasons longer. So I'm just going to plop it in there just with these ones. Now I also have a bit of thyme that's starting to wilt. This is a perfect time to just start picking and get some of that gorgeous thyme in there. So some of those seasonal herbs that you get so sad when the season's over, not anymore, they're going to last forever. So we'll just do those ones. And again, any herbs you want, you can use for this one. So the great thing about olive oil, and why I do use it often, is it is great for not only your skin, hair, joints, uh, brain, but it also has this gorgeous oleic acid, which is excellent for reducing our blood pressure, which can be quite a common issue sometimes. Got a few chili flakes as well. So again, this is where the infusion comes in. And I'm gonna show you on a lovely hot pan how simple this is to not season and just stick one cube in. So I've also got some black peppercorns that I'm gonna put in. Again, this is naturally quite a peppery one um, and quite a lot of olive oils are. The thing when you have a strong olive oil is it holds its heat very well. So this one is extremely robust, does very well at a high temperature, which means that it keeps its nutrition as it gets heated. So there we go, a little bit of peppercorns just in there. Now, just like magic, I have a few that I made earlier, just here sure they all come out. Look how beautiful that is. So simple and quite a cool little trick to show your friends as well. So if you want to just use them on a salad, because of course olive oil tastes beautiful, it doesn't always have to be heated, just stick one in a little bowl, let it melt. And if you want to also get that ice cube tray free again, you can just plop them in a bit of sandwich bag, put them back in the freezer and use as you want. But of course, these gorgeous infused olive oil cubes are so perfect. I've got a chilli one here just to go straight in the pan.